Hey, welcome my scrapping friends to Scrapping It Up. I am Vanessa, and today I want to show you a folio that we made um, over on my Facebook page. And I want to know if you guys would like to learn how to make this folio. It's a very quick and easy folio. Um, when we done our December daily, we had scraps left over. So I come up with this folio during my live class, and... Um, it uses the scraps, so it's nothing fancy, guys, but I don't, if you guys would like to um, learn how to make this, um, let me know in the comments below, and uh, if I have enough of you, yeah, I'll teach you guys how to make this. Yay! It measures, I think, nine by seven and a half. Yes, nine by seven and a half. Like I said, we did use scraps. I didn't have enough big scraps to um, to decorate the back, so I had to piece it in. So a lot of this is kind of pieced in because we didn't have very many scraps left. But I um, wanted to create something to help use up our scraps. So here we just have a belly band to kind of keep it closed. And um, it did get a little bit chunky. So... Um, if you guys want to learn how to do this, I will increase the spines, okay, to give you plenty of room for your photos. This folio will hold roughly about up to 70, 80 photos, just depending on how you, you know, if you use big photos, they won't hold as much, okay? But on the, about, probably about 70 photos. So here we have, and this side mirrors this side, all right? So we have a pocket here on both sides and I did um, add um, the simple stories pocket pages in here because we had some of those left over so I used those too so then this flips open and this paper guys is gorgeous I love this paper so then this flips and we have a nice big pocket here so you could put a couple of photo mats maybe three photo mats in here and I did leave this unglued so you could slide your photos here. And remember, this is made with scraps, so there's a lot of piecing um, in this um, folio. But it is very cute folio. The paper makes it. <laughs> so here we have a flap. And I just used um, one of the 6x8 um, pieces of paper out of the um, paper pad because we had some of those left. And then here is the pocket pages. And I've done this before. I've done this in the recipe um, the recipe folio. I um, introduced this idea. Um, we've done it with the other recipe album, the newer one, and with our little booklets. So, yep. The only word of caution I would say, to make sure they're right side up. Because I, I put my pocket pages in here upside down. <laughs> Oh, my word. But very cute. Very cute. Oops. This goes. And then this goes. So this side here mirrors the other side. And then this opens. See, we just didn't have enough big scraps left, so I had to wind up piecing it in. But very cute. Very cute. So this flips. And you have another pocket here. And then that flips. And again, here's another one of those pieces from the 6x8 paper pad. Because we have a flap here. So that allows us to do put that. And I have it. I thought I was dumb, but I'm not. <laughs> so again, here is our pocket pages. Yeah, see. <laughs> thought I was done. Nope, I forgot to put those on here. Yep, that one's upside down too. Well, I didn't do very well, did I? <laughs> and then here's the back of it. So if you guys would like to learn how to make this, um, let me know in the comments what you think about this folio. And if I have enough of you, I will um, come on here and teach you how to make this little cute folio. Very cute. Very easy to make. So, yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I appreciate you watching it. Like I said, let me know what you think. 
And um, that's all I have for you. So hopefully we'll see you in the next video. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.